Edmonton Oilers superstar Connor McDavid is being pilloried by the progressives. The reason? They hated his Halloween costume. If there was a jump the Sharknado moment in terms of the war on Halloween this year, it was surely the cross-checking Connor McDavid endured from the PC Posse. McDavid's sin? He wore a very, very offensive costume. Oh my, that sounds serious, doesn't it? Did he don blackface? A native headdress, perhaps? Surely he didn't don the haberdashery of Adolf Hitler. Well, no, no, and no. Horror of horrors, McDavid dressed up as... Donald Trump, while his girlfriend, Lauren Kyle, played the role of Melania. (laughs) Yeah, who knew that donning a business suit, an American flag lapel, and a blonde-hued wig would elicit controversy from those residing in Snowflake Nation? The initial Instagram title read, Making America Great Again, before it was edited to read Mr. and Mrs. Trumpas. That's because in addition to the costume, the social justice warriors also objected to the caption. One chimed in with the following, The caption is all kinds of tone deaf, especially seen as that catchphrase is used by Trump to promote racism, homophobia, etc. <laughs> wow. By the way, Connor, that was a mistake, retitling the post. Never play defense when it comes to these PC whiners. They won't show you any gratitude, and they will always ask for yet more capitulation. Always stay on the offense, and don't feed the animals. Typical of the outrage was this commentator, who chimed in on Twitter, saying, quote, figures that the first time Connor McDavid showed even a hint of personality it would be to showcase that he's actually a bad person, end quote. Like, what the hell? Even if Trump was the second coming of Genghis Khan, how does dressing as a villain make the person donning the costume villainous? Another troll noted, quote, tie too short, gut too small, skin not orange enough, more Pulp Fiction than fictitious fake news, end quote. McDavid, meanwhile, showed wisdom beyond his years by noting, quote, you know what? It's a Halloween costume, and that's all it was. It was not meant to be anything or mean anything. It was a Halloween costume, end quote. Here's what I don't get. If dressing up as Donald Trump is somehow verboten, then why do the nut bars on the left get to do so with impunity? Case in point, back in February in Toronto, a bunch of women and an effeminate men called themselves the P. Beavers, as they donned Trump wigs to protest the Bay's decision to sell Ivanka Trump designer dresses. Check it out. Like, Trump is is a misogynist, right? So if I protest against his daughter and that brand and that information that they support, then I am fighting for women's rights and the rights of everyone. When I look at a country, say, Saudi Arabia, a woman can't drive, can't vote, has the completely cover herself in a fabric. I mean, to me, that seems far more misogynistic than anything coming out of the White House. Oh, I disagree entirely. Oh, absolutely. Grab her by the pussy. You think that's acceptable? We don't well, that was locker room talk, but by the same token, you're calling yourself the Peeve Beavers. Yeah. Well, isn't funny. that a, uh, <laughs> a, a slur word for female genitalia as well? Um, I guess we're co-opting the name. It's satirical. The Eye of Sauron is upon us! Did you catch that last comment, folks? The Eye of Sauron is upon us? What a kook! But in summary, I guess the new rules when it comes to donning a Donald Trump costume is that it is only socially acceptable to do so if you are obviously mocking the president, if your costume might be construed as honoring the president, well, as Connor McDavid found out, That's just way offside. Don't you just love how the progressives seem to be making up the rules as they go along when it comes to freedom of expression? (laughs) What a bunch of hypocrites. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has an all-new fall lineup. Please visit therebel.media slash shows and check it out.